Once again, Dow Jones Industrial Average post a gain up 40 points. We were down all day. If you look at the graph behind us, we were down probably almost 100. Market came in this morning about down 75 points on the spies. As I've said, we've got this overwhelming sort of sense of weakness in the market because there's the headlines are not particularly positive and Mr. Trump is a bit of a hot live wire and people are seeing that the market's sort of churning in this straight horizontal parallel line within a range. Range bound markets, people tend to take profits. Even though we're seeing some new money coming into the market here in the beginning of April, April 4th, 2017. Rock and roll, Dow Jones closed, 20,700 basically. Russell flat, feels like that sell selling in the mid cap, small cap profit taking may be out. Although there's a lot of sector rotation in stocks, money going in and out of big stocks all afternoon, that's what we saw. Spiders up an odd lot. Basically, what's important to me today was the reversal in the market. Could have been fueled by a massive rally in oil, a massive rally in oil, oil on its way back to 52, right? Up a buck, up a buck 10. That's huge. As we talk about, markets engage certain things, whether in a negative posture or a positive posture. Today, it was a reversal early morning. It, it's Tuesday. I, there was not a lot of news out. We got churning and burning going on in Washington. We don't have any earnings popping out right at the moment. We have the beginning of April. We have the end of the quarter, right? So there was window dressing, profit taking, and whatnot. But we're in April now. We're in the beginning of the second quarter. Once again, we got to get back to the fact the economy is actually not doing so bad. And in fact, the market's actually doing quite well. We sort of we've had a bit of a you know it's not a significant liquidation from 21,300 to 20. 1,550, that's where we kind of bottomed out. Oil going from 52 down to 46, right? Spiders in a range, I'm not really sure exactly what it was. But we saw that we weren't getting any follow through on big on the sell side, no matter what the news was. That kind of when the market is sort of flatlining in a parallel groove, it's going to engage something. Could be negative, could be positive. Turns out it's oil. Oil has made a significant comeback over the last few days. So market firmed up. We were down 100 this morning. But every time there was a, pos uh, a potential for a follow-through on the sell side, they didn't get it. So there's new money being put to work. As I said to you, make a shopping list, look for stocks that are down, that have come in. We have stocks that are making bid mo big moves. Panera Bread, right, up 20 yesterday on anticipation of earnings. People have got to take profits. As a day trader, I'm a firm believer in ringing the cash register. This is a hard market to trade. Even harder now that we're sort of in this little range-bound level, but you had it, you know, when it was nothing but buyers, we're up 3,500 points. If you were long, if you were a long-term investor, you made money. If you were trying to bet that this market was toppy, that when was Trump going drop to the, drop the left shoe, and it never happened, you got hurt. So I'm talking to you as a day trader. There are all opportunities here. When you see a market reverse, it's really hard to pick a bottom. This market has potential to break through, hit a bottom, and then bottom falls out the bottom. We haven't seen that happen yet. But I'm a more of a momentum player from a day trading point of view. And what I see is that you rather wait around, let the market do what it's going to do. The mornings are a real bob and weave. People are hitting buttons, gorillas in pajamas, sitting on planes, hitting buttons. They're doing what they want to do. They're more powerful than the edge I offer. But when you see a market reverse, it's hard to see it behind me. The market double bottomed this morning, down about 75 points in the Dow. And then you just saw momentum come in. You saw the guys go in. Markets are being run by algorithm. Computer trading is a reality. So when people are in with a time-weighted average order, volume-weighted average order, and the market tends to move, and there are people, players hitting buttons and getting involved in the futures, you've got to join the momentum. So for today, otherwise, it was not that an exciting day. Market did reverse. Market seems strong. We're not going down. We need a good reason to go higher. We're not there yet, except there's fresh money coming in in April. Keep your eye on that. Love you all. Einstein out for the day.